Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough as promised. New decks! Let's give you a quick rundown here. So we're gonna go ahead and do a confirmation. So fireweed, fire and grass as you would expect. And I'm just gonna put a couple double colorless in there as well as a recycle energy because there's a bunch of stuff that can use it such as Scyther here as well as Charizard because of the energy burn. Uh, also Charmeleon too because of the slash attack. So that's gonna be a nice combo of all sorts of colorless proportions. Also Hungry Snorlax because it's awesome and it can also use a double colorless. Uh, Magmar because it's a nice stall. There's also two different lines going on here of Charizards. I got just two of these and two of these for variety. But then I've also got two Charmeleon and two Dark Charmeleon because it's going to lead over to one Charizard or one Dark Charizard. I didn't have more of these, so I thought, I thought mm, maybe I'll just kind of kind of do a staircase starting with here instead of three, two, one, you know, go four, four, one, one, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, energy removal, because fire Pokemon use up a lot of energy. Search for deck thinning as well as to grab the energy that I want. Professor Oak and Bill, of course, for the usual staples. Boss's Way, because I have dark Pokemon. Trader for pretty much anything that I need. And switch for the high energy costs of retreats. And also, you know how I had to do that con confirmation thing to see the deck? Here's another way to do the confirmation thing. Just press the start button. I always forget that exists. <laughs> so the Swift deck, the idea behind this is to use a lot of Pokemon that have low energy costs but can do a lot of damage quickly. So I've got Speedball and I also got uh, Dark Electro for the Energy Bomb Zapdos combo that I talked about before. Yeah, you take the energy cards attached to Dark Electrode as it's about to be knocked out and plop them on Zapdos. So that could be a nice combo there. Uh, Machop, Machoke, Machamp, and Hitmonchan, because I don't really have that many options in the fighting, but they do work very well in this particular deck style. Uh, as does Rattata and Raticate. Uh, Professor Oak, Defender, Plus Power, Bill, all very, very good staples for Pokemon with low HP, as well as just to grab cards in general. Uh, Scoop Up, as well for basically free heals, because I'm not attaching a lot of energy cards to Pokemon. Pokemon Trader for the sake of versatility, Gust of Wind for the surprises. And I also want to select this deck for the future. And Paralyzed deck is more about not letting the opponent do stuff, if at all possible. Not just paralysis effects. I mean, there are a lot of paralysis effects in here, such as the Dugong that I've wanted to use for a while. See, it's got the Ice Beam, but Aurora Beam 3 for 50 is nothing to scoff at either. Um, but I've also got Staryu, nice basic Pokemon, but I also got Star Me, got a surprise recover potentially if need be, or Star Freeze for more paralysis. Abra can do paralysis as well. Kadabra, like Star Me, can recover, but also Super Size is plain powerful. Jinx is a nice splashable, I figure it would be good in there. Uh, Mewtwo, Psycrash can't do anything unless the opponent's deck has Psychic. But Super Psy can, <laughs> so I kind of put that in as another splashable. Uh, and also I got here Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff, which combine nicely with the remaining Professor Oak that I had. Yeah, I had seven Professor Oak from all those packs. And I figured because Jigglypuff, you know, I didn't really show the Jigglypuff line here. This, this is not a very exceptional Pokemon here. It's got a lot of HP, but it takes a lot, of, yeah, a lot of energy just to pound, and then that lullaby is kind of 25% chance of actually working. But the Wigglytuff, this is what I want to combine with Professor Oak. Get a lot of Pokemon on the bench with a lot of drawing, do up to 60 damage. <laughs> That's one powerful little puffball. Uh, you could also combine that with Call for Family, like with the Nidoran line or something like that too, but I think Professor Oak is faster because Call for Family is once per turn, and you can't do a regular attacking attack, and uh, yeah, so <laughs> Professor Oak just chances are you need a lot more basics out of that than one Call for Family. And now also, you're probably wondering, where were those energy removals? Here they are! They're very. I thought that they were most fitting in the Paralyzed deck, because I've only got four of these and one of these. 
And I didn't want to, like, rely completely on energy removal the entire time of playing this game. I want to show all sorts of different strategies, so I thought I would put them in here as they're pretty fitting for this particular strategy. Defender and plus power for the surprises, switch for the high retreat costs like Kadabra, and bill for the multi-draws to combine with Professor Oak and the... Uh, just, just good for drawing in general. <laughs> I don't even have to talk Wigglytuff, it's just good to have them. And there we go! Here's your rundown of my new decks. Let's check out the new area where Chip is hanging out. Ooh, what does this button do? Ooh, what does this button- oh. 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 <sighs> you disappoint me. Anyway, Grandmaster Steve is being held in here somewhere. I don't hear him around here, though. What? How do you- how, You can't see in there. How do you know he's in there? He could be behind this door. He could be in this generator. Okay, he's probably in here. Wait, he, wait, he could be in here! Ah! So how do you know he's in there? Mint must be psychic. But anyway, this door, the doors are closed tightly. Cannot talk to the generator for dialogue, but you can talk to Chip. I'm Chip, a member of Team GR. However, you may remember me as... The amazing leader of GR... I mean, the amazing leader of GR number three. That's right. You may have beaten me before, but you can't defeat me here. I'm using my most powerful deck. <laughs> I have a special requirement for challenges here, however. The only energy allowed in your deck is electric energy. I won't play against a deck containing any other energy type. Dang! So I have to modify my deck again. <laughs> Victory here with you some cards and the release of our Grandmaster. The one named Stan or something? <laughs> anyway, he's fine. Would you like to duel Chip? Sure! You cloud you, you chowder head! <laughs> there are other energy types in there. You build your deck so it only has electric type energy cards. I won't battle with you until you've done that one simple thing. Dang it! You had one job, Mint! You had one job, okay. <laughs> so I have a plan ahead of time as well. I got this Electabuzz, buzz. I got this Electabuzz, buzz. Got two of these Jolteon, and I figured I could kind of, kind of balance things out in that regard because I'm gonna have to take out the fighting Pokemon and whatnot. So I'm gonna take out those because they all require fighting energy for all their attacks. So that is not gonna work whatsoever. And now we're gonna go down to the Tauros for a little bit of variety. That version of Tauros and that version of Tauros, basically. And for those Jolteon, you got this ultra cute artwork of Eevee. Tackle, send attack. Also, one energy card just to start attacking, so I'm gonna plop that in there. Also, this Eevee, tail whip, and a quick attack. I, I kind of use need to use that to fill the rest. They're both very cute artworks, though, so I will accept them happily. <laughs> And of course, bye bye, 10 fighting. Hello, 10 electric. <laughs> well, it's actually lightning energy in the, the TCG. No, I'm not saving that because I just built that and I just had to remodify it for this duel. Alright, your deck may have electric as its only energy type to battle me. If it has any other energy types in it, I'll refuse the fight. Have you prepared an accommodating deck? No. I guess you can't be battle if you're running away. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. So yeah, that's part of why I built multiple decks as well, because it's much, much faster to modify the deck since it's already got all the energy types spanned across those decks, and I just kind of tweak them accordingly. So I thought that would be a nice benefit of having three decks uh, that cover all the energy types by having two in each. Alright, let's see what we got here. That's a nice opener right there. <laughs> Alright, so... Electabuzz will be causing the pain. And Flying Pikachu is an interesting card. It's got Fighting Resistance. So, it's a nice splashable card in uh, Lightning decks because you have... See, it's, it's not weak to, to lightning because it is lightning, but it's got the resistance to fighting because it's got the balloons giving it the flying trait. Get it? Get it? You know, because the fighting is ground rock as well. Um, so it can do paralysis and it can also prevent all effects of attacks, including damage, if you get a heads flip on the fly. So it's, uh, it can be pretty dicey to deal with, you know? You know? But for now, let's Thunder Shock. Yeah! <laughs> That is a nice turn. I'll be able to knock that out on the next turn. And see how things turn out with his most powerful deck. Because you can, you can pull out some 
powerful meatballs on his side, so... <laughs> Alright, let's go Thunder Punch. Please, no tails. Ow! I didn't... I didn't need to get heads for that, but it's just helpful, because I didn't, wouldn't take 10 damage to myself, so... Yeah. Uh, Speedball Voltorb. That is a nice one. He's probably gonna... Yeah, I was gonna say, he's gonna be going for the uh, Thunderbolt on the next turn, I'm sure. Because, uh, yeah, like, he can do a load of damage to Electabuzz. I'm thinking I should actually switch out and into something else. Like, uh... Just because I because Electabuzz is one of my best, <laughs> so I think I'm gonna do is do that. Plop Speedball Voltorb out there, and oh wait, actually, should I evolve it into Dark Electro because it has 60 HP? <sighs> Maybe because then I could use its. Power to give energy over to Electabuzz on the next turn if I get. Oh, that's right, I just put. No, no I, can't, I can't anyway. I was gonna say because I could use that to give the energy back over to uh, Electabuzz, but it's looking like that is a no go as I was getting ahead of myself as I just played Voltorb this turn. That's okay. Uh, anyway, so that Pikachu is out of energy now. Uh, oh, I put the wrong Electabuzz. Well, hmm. Yeah, I just kind of seen Electabuzz and I went for it. <laughs> uh, that's not a bad Electabuzz or anything like that. It's just that this one's a lot faster in the in the attack department because it's got the one energy for attacking. Uh, you know what? I just do it like that and <laughs> might as well. You can go ahead and recharge. I'll just I'll get energy cards of my own probably. Give it to the other Electabuzz and we're done. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't have enough energy to... Oh, I see. You're, you're planning ahead, I see. But yeah, he doesn't have enough power to actually knock out this Electabuzz with Pikachu. He might switch to a Speedball Voltorb or something like that to pull that off on the next turn, but... Wait, actually, no, no, that's not that's not the same Voltorb. Yeah, that's the Thundershock and Groove Spark one. I see. So he's kind of... He's kind of stuck, too. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's gonna get you know, a bunch of energy cards, but... It's not really a big deal or anything like that. I have my own Electabuzz coming. Got a bill. Probably gonna give me some more energy. Oh, another bill. <laughs> give me a Defender out of that. Oh, no energy. Hmm, 22 energy cards. Not giving me energy. <laughs> Over a third of my deck. Not giving me much energy. That's okay, though. Not that big of a deal. I'm actually... Hoping that he just keeps burning energy cards on Thunderbolt more than anything. Because he doesn't have... I mean, he's got a lot of prize cards to take anyway, so it's still a long game to go. And that's nice. That's very nice. I've got the Raticate for the future. But I've got the Thunder Punch for now. <laughs> yeah, because he's been using so much energy cards on Pikachu that it's been... Uh, yeah, he hasn't really been doing much powering up of the bench critters. So, that could be a problem for him, especially if I flip heads with my Thunder Punch. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm going to do Defender as well on Electabuzz, just for the sake in case I don't get the coin flip. Get Rattata set up there, get Toro set up there. I guess this Eevee instead of the other Eevee, because it's got that one energy cost, as I mentioned. And Thunder Punch! Yeah, knocked out that Voltorb like no one's business. <laughs> and electric energy, lightning energy. <laughs> All right, and uh, that's gonna do ten damage. Yeah. So it looks like a victory is a minor thanks to the Braina. <laughs> I guess I can just do that for the fun of it. Um, ah. Eh. Whatever, just, just, just attack. <laughs> just, just don't, st no need to stall anymore. We win. <laughs> Last prize card. No, even, not even any active Pokemon. So that's like a double win there. But it started out pretty close. <laughs> Rocket booster pack is a mina. And oh, 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 oh! New Jinx! Extended series! Ice Punch can cause paralysis. That would be nice in that other deck that I have. And if it's spending Pokemon is now asleep. Also very handy, but but only 50 HP, so 
it's up to you. And yeah, notice the energy costs here. Psychic, Pokemon, Water, Energy. Uh-huh. So it really would work well in that my other deck. It's just like, it's a match made in heaven. But I'm not, I'm not modifying that deck right now. I'm gonna go through these critters really quick. Oh, Fossilization. If heads, take all evolution cards attached to one of your Pokemon and play. And put them into your hand. Why would you want to do that? Well, just think like if your Pokemon is about to be knocked out. Um, you could plop them into your hand and then it wouldn't count as a knockout because the Mysterious Fossil doesn't count as a prize card. And then Sharp Claws. It's heads 10 plus 30 potentially for this extended series Kabuto. And that is about it. It's also got 50 HP. So it's kind of a unique Kabuto to utilize. You know that? You know that? Okay. I can actually use that Abra on the other deck too. I didn't expect to be defeated by with such brute force. Alrighty then. Mint. Oh, oh, I'll keep my word. The special method to open that capture pod. Prepare yourself. Okay, you. Go stand in front of the pod. Okay. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mint. You've done well as usual. I was captured because I wasn't able to beat Team GR. Here, take this gift. And I get a special promotional Electabuzz from the first Pokemon movie. Probably not quite as good as the original Electabuzz with less HP and the quick attack is less consistent, but it could be a nice option with that light screen for stalling purposes. But, you know thing about it is that you can also get stalling purposes out of the paralysis. But anyway, details. I'm going to return to the Pokemon Dome. Hold it, Stan! <laughs> what is it? Take these boosted packs to read, this, read your distribute over there, will you? Oh, uh, now thanks a lot, sir. You're a good man. <laughs> you only locked me away, but he's a good man. You'd like to fight against me at the Pokemon Dome, right? I'll be there waiting for you. Do -do 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 -do. I must follow the rules of Team GR's Electric Fortress. I open the doors leading to Catherine for you now. How do you open those doors, doll? Yeah! <laughs> so silly. The fortress leader is back there. Do your best against her. Thank you. I most certainly will. Oh, Mint, have you come here for something? If you're tuning to take me on, I was supposed to do really, really, I just wanted to see if there's any new dialogue. It's just between fighting with confined deck choices. Yes, it is. If you ever get bored of normal duels, I'll be waiting here. Now let's put our deck to the way it was, only maybe with new Electabuzz just for kicks. Okay, I decided to do something a little bit different here. One less Rattata in favor of... Oh, one less Rattata, one less Zapdos in favor of both of the Electabuzzes, including the new one, just for the sake of sakes. And also... Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Aha, uh -huh. I didn't forget this time. <laughs> Alright, so that's our swift deck and we know how to use it. Final room of the lightning fort. Ooh, what does this button do? Ooh, what does this button do? Ooh, what does this button do? Ooh, what does this do? <laughs> I love Dexter's lab. Um, <laughs> so here's Catherine. Thunder! <laughs> oh, uh, oh, you're mint. So you finally come here. I suppose you wish to fight for ownership of a GR Thunder coin. But this won't be your ordinary card battle. All damage done by electric type Pokemon is increased by 10. Remember I said Speedball Voltor would be quite a problem? That's why she's got Speedball Voltor. <laughs> so she's got 30 damage for one energy card on those bad boys. Um, I've, I've of course got my own in my deck, but I've got this deck is actually pretty well tailored to beat hers. You'll see what I mean. Knowing that, then is deck good to go? Oh, so you're not prepared to fight me with me just yet. Well, once your deck is prepared, let's fight. Fight the good fight! Woo! Oh, Mint, you've come again, yay? Yeah, I, I came back three hours later. Are you okay to start battling? <laughs> Remember my added rule. Next type Pokemon, do 10 extra damage for each of their effects. You prepare the fight, you accept my challenge? I do. We'll use six prize cards. Fight! Fight! Thunder, fight! Let's make some sparks! Woo! <laughs> So she is the big bad boss of the Lightning Fort with the Electric Snowstorm deck. Plus 10 damage. Thunder Charge. Let's -a go. Alright. Full on duel. Oh. <laughs> well, it's gonna be a full on duel eventually. You just gotta do a quick reshuffle here if you don't mind. So, okay, so she's. 
really again. So since she's gonna be using lightning Pokemon, I've got fighting Pokemon. But she's also got flying Pokemon to counter my fighting Pokemon with their resistances. So I've got electric Pokemon, or lightning Pokemon, to counter those. See what I- yeah, so it's gonna be a nice back and forth duel, I think. Uh, in theory. <laughs> Let's see what we got, though. I think I'll just put Rattata out there. It might get knocked out with the uh, Speedball Voltorb if she's starting out with that, but... What can you do? I'd rather power up the rest of them if possible. Oh, I got heads. I can see what she gets first, then. Okay, don't do all. And, oh, she's got no Lightning Pokemon to boot to start out with. Okay, we got... We got something going here. <laughs> Ooh, especially with the plus power. Um... I'm gonna go do another build, see my options, and I guess um, just trying to think of the future here. How about since my fighting Pokemon generally don't take that much energy, I use that on Rattata and begin the nibbling process of the HP, and then surprise with the plus power on the next turn. How does that sound? Maybe she predicted the plus power because she she powered up the Eevee instead. Well, well, bunk bunk bunk. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go power up that Pikachu and give a nibble for 30 now, thanks to the plus power. That's the power of the Swift deck. And now that I got a Machop, I can begin attacking the. Uh, ooh, I was gonna say begin attacking the uh, uh, normal type Pokemon with double damage, but it'll still it'll still work against. Yeah, but the thing about it is that she did a surprise evolution there to knock out my Rattata. That's okay, though. We're gonna go over to Voltorb, because remember, I've got Speed Speedball Voltorb as well. Plop my chop on the bench, and hello, 30 extra damage because of the special rule. <laughs> I mean, 30 damage because of the special rule, 10 extra damage because of the special rule. I'm getting all excited. So I got like the most powerful attack in the game here, right here. <laughs> one energy for 30. <laughs> it, like, I mean, yeah, this Firefetch has got the one for 30 as well via the Leak Slap, but you can only use it once. So <laughs> it might not even work. Alright, so that's all. That's okay, though. I was planning for that. I've got the Machop. And I. I uh, what? Are you kidding me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you, Windows 10. <laughs> Should be just fine, though. <laughs> oh, jeez. We'll see how things go. And low character to finish off Dark Jolteon. And electric energy. Here we go. On the benchy bench. Pikachu is a Pika in. Yeah, when it tells me low battery, I still got like 30 minutes remaining on the battery, so big whoop. <laughs> Uh, Defender's only gonna prevent 20 damage, but my plan is going to be to kind of plan for the future more than anything. Like, say, with this Raichu. <laughs> Alright, so it's gonna do double minus two, so it's just like a regular low kick. That is still pretty acceptable. Let's see what she does. Will she at least attack with the Volta? Oh wow, she is she out of energy? Ooh, that's good position. Well, for me at least. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna go power up Hitmonchan and low kick. Cause I'm gonna keep putting that pressure on her. Ooh, Professor Oak. <laughs> uh, ooh, I can knock out that Pikachu in one low kick unless she's got another defender, but I doubt it. <laughs> uh, she might be able to do paralysis. Ah, oh, she pulled it off. I'm not too concerned about that, though. We should be okay. Uh, I'm gonna go power up Hitmonchan. I'm thinking I should... Like, even though I don't have the, a Voltorb to go with Dark Electrode, I'm thinking I should just dump out my whole hand and also do this little trick. Scoop up, <laughs> bring Machop back to my hand to heal it. I lose the energy card, but I get to automatically swap over to Hitmonchan. <laughs> Uh, I'll do Professor Oak now. How you like those apples for the combo zaz? And uh, I'm gonna. I think I. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think I put the last energy card to turn for the turn. But anyway, I didn't really need to do that anyway because I'm just jabbing for the win. Professor Oak again. Wow, I'm in 
really good position with this deck. The Swift deck is working nicely. <laughs> um, so now this is the thing that I was mentioning that she's using her flying Pokemon as resistance to my fighting Pokemon. But this is where the back and forth dealio comes into play. Because you see, I'm gonna plop that on Raichu, do a retreat, put out Raichu. Uh, maybe I won't Professor Oak just yet. I'll just go for the quick attack. Come on, heads. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say. Because if, if I got heads, I would have been on KO, but it's still double damage for 40. She's probably just gonna switch to Eevee or something like that. Ooh, Professor Oak. Ooh, this might be her comeback! <laughs> Depending on how things go. Uh, jungle Pikachu, Jungle Pikachu. Energy removal. Okay, that's very useful for you. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, so she did do the Eevee. Alright, I will accept that Eevee, and I will raise you a plus power, because I can do um, the, the 40 if I get the coin flip heads, and hopefully that will work out. I'll also defend my Raichu. Plop that energy on there, and here we go. <laughs> Alright, I think that was overkill, but... <laughs> Actually, I didn't... Yeah, I think that was overkill. I didn't need the plus power. Whoops. Well, I jumped the gun there. I miscalculated in my head. Ooh, Dark Raichu is out. Uh, that could be a, quite the bench attacker, but we'll see what I can do in the meantime here. I might... If I have a... If I get a gust of wind, that would be pretty nice. Um, uh, anyway, I know. I should show you Dark Raichu. Surprise Thunder. Does 10, 20, or 0, 10, or 20 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon? Yeah. Yeah, pretty, pretty unavoidable, basically, when it's out there. So, switching will not help you save your Pokemon if she's gonna be attacking. Alright, anyway, though, I should probably focus on the future fighting. And. Wait, wait, what, why am I overthinking this? I've got Thunderbolt! <laughs> I was like, I need to save the Thunderbolt in case I need it for the future, but it may discard my energy cards, but this is the last turn anyway if I use it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, victory is mine! Oh no, I've been defeated using my own rules! I was trying to speedball Voltorb! <laughs> And I get a rocket booster pack. Let's see what we get. Another Scyther. Very nice. Ooh, another Magmar. Very nice. Okay, I could use that Abra for other deck as mentioned before. Another. T <laughs> I get so many Gyarados! <laughs> so many of them! <laughs> um, okay, oh, I got another one of those Eevees, I see. Since you were the winner, take this GR Thunder coin. Ah, that was the coin she was using against us. Coins are all aesthetic, not really changing the gameplay or anything like that, but yet, they are fun to swap out. <laughs> using that coin, you may enter both the GR Fire and GR Water Fortresses. It's all you meant. Go, go, go! Oh, Min, you've come again, eh? You didn't even turn around this time! I, I can't even say that I came back three hours later. <laughs> Are you okay to start battling? Remember I added rule. Let's type Pokemon into extra damage treats or attacks. You prefer the fight? Do you accept my challenge? Nay. Oh, so you're not prepared to fight me just yet. Well, once your deck is prepared, let's fight. Fight the Okay, it's the same, same dialogue. Alright, with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. When I go over to one of the other fortresses, I'm leaning towards the fire one, so I can test out my Wada deck. Probably, ah, uh, well, water and psychic deck, I should say.